This is module six, lesson three, part two. So you're looking at the back page of your problem set. The back page of your problem set has this resource page on it. So what we're gonna do together is we're gonna go through and create a, a coordinate system right here on this paper. So you're going to start out, you need, you're going to need a ruler or a straight edge, something to help you draw straight lines. So it, we are going to start off by drawing the X axis through points A and B. And to try to get a straight line, <coughs> if your ruler is lined up perfectly with the paper, you should end up with a straight line. So we're gonna start all the way over here, draw our line straight through. Oh, let's try that again. All right, let's label this the x the x axis then let's take our ruler and we're going to draw a perpendicular line through c and d point c and d let's see about getting this line up. Let's label the y-axis. All right, so now you have your 90 degree angle, you have perpendicular lines, you have your x-axis and your y-axis is labeled. From here, we are going to label what is this called right here. You're right, it's called the origin. And what are the coordinate points of the origin? That's right, they are zero, zero. Okay, so on our number line, now we need to go through and actually label our number line, our x-axis and our y-axis. What we're going to do is on the x-axis, we are gonna label the whole numbers only. The length of one square on the grid represents one fourth. So the length on the grid is equal to one fourth. So if you wanna take your ruler and mark fourths, all the way across, go ahead and do that with me. Now, so if this is, this is zero force, this is one fourth, this is two force, this is three force, this is four over four, but it's one. Then we have five force, six force, seven force. Are we gonna put eight over four? No, we're going to write two. So go ahead and I want you to label all of those numbers all the way across. But really and truly, you only need to put the tick marks in between and you're only labeling the whole numbers. So we know this is going to be three. This is gonna be four. Five. Six. Let's go ahead and stop at six. Now, so how many, if you think about this, how many tick marks or hash marks do you have all together? 
So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you have 24 all together, but you've only, we're only marking the whole numbers. I just wanted to start you off where you are familiar. So we have one, four, two, four, three, fours, all the way up. So, so what is the coordinate, the X and Y coordinate for point A? For point A, that would be one over one. Up how many? Zero. One, zero. All right, let's see. Next, I want you to label the y-axis in the same way you labeled the x-axis. So if you want to turn your paper, and remember we're going to only do the tick marks, the hash marks, and we're only going to label Let's make that. All right, now we're only going to label our whole numbers. So if this is one, four, two, four, three, four, 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 one. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths. Wait, no. This would be eight fourths. Oh, is two. Let me fix that. So it doesn't confuse you. So every four, so this would be this would be two and a fourth, two and a half, two and three fourths, three, three and a fourth, three and a half, three and three fourths, four, four and a quarter, four and a half, four and three fourths, five, five and a fourth, five and a half, five and three fourths, six. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go through, remember starting on the x-axis, moving up the y-axis first over x, then up y. I want you to go through and label each point. Now, I want you to keep in mind there are fractions involved with these. And if you would like to write the mixed number, you can, or if you want to leave it improper, that will be fine for now, but you're going to have to get used to changing it to a mixed number. So go ahead, label letters A through F, H, A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, oh, I forgot about I. All right, so there are several points that you need to correctly identify the X and Y axis, their coordinate pairs. And if you wanna write the improper fraction, that's fine, but then maybe you write it in its mixed number over here. You really wanna get <clears throat> used to including the mixed number. If you want to go straight to the mixed number, that is perfectly fine as well. All right, go ahead and go and then come back and check. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this. So we have A, we have B, 
we have C, we have D, we have E, F, G, H. Now, I added two new points. I added J at three over three up two and a quarter, and I added K, which is four by four. Now, what we're gonna also do, so if you have all of that plotted correctly, that's excellent. Now, here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna find the different, the distance between points on the same y-axis. So when you're trying to find the distance between two points on the same y-axis, you're gonna subtract the x's and you're gonna subtract the y's from each other to get the distance between two points. Now, obviously, you have to subtract the large, you have to subtract the smaller number from the larger number. So you're gonna start by going across on the x-axis. So four subtract one and one fourth gives you what? That's right. It gives you two and three fourths. Now where did I just get that? I subtract my x's. So four subtract one and one fourth. Oh, I need to borrow to get four over four, and I get three fours. Three subtract one is two. So the distance is two and three fours, and now I subtract the y's. Four subtract four is zero. So the distance between g and k is two and three fours points or units. Then let's try, let's try C and J. So let's subtract the X's. Three subtract zero is three. And two and one fourth, subtract two and one fourth. Now because they're on the same Y axis, those are always gonna equal zero. So the distance between J and C is a distance of three units okay or three points but i'd say three units all right so now based on what we just did we're going to go to our problem set now i'm going to walk you through the problem set really quick but i think based on if this gives you trouble come right back to the video so let's go through the problem set. So you were going to construct an X that passes through points A and B, just like we did on the concept development, construct a perpendicular Y axis that passes through the C and the F, construct, then you're going to label the origin you are, the X coordinate of B is five and two thirds. So once you know that this is five and two thirds, now you're going to work backwards and fill in your, your coordinate grid. Then if C is at five and one third, you're going to now cut, fill in your coordinate grid using what you know about fractions, then for problem two, for all the following problems, consider the points A through N on the previous page. So what you need to do is you're going to identify, first you have to fill in your coordinate grid. Then you can identify all the points on the grid and that takes you all the way through here. Then you're going to name the points that are located here. Which point has an equal X and Y coordinate? So equal. They come together at a point and they're equal. The A, I mean the X and the Y are equal. 
give the coordinates of the intersection of the two axes. So you're going to then, based on this, what are the two numbers? Another name for this point is called the, on the plane is called the what. You're going to identify the point, the letter. Then here, you're going to plot these letters, these coordinate pairs, and label those points on the grid. Then you're going to find the difference, the distance, if you will. So remember, here to find the distance, the axes have to subtract together, and the y's have to subtract together. And obviously you have to put the bigger number in front or on top in order to subtract. What is the length of HD? So you're going to give the length. It is how many units across. What would, would the length ED be greater or less than EH plus HD? So you're gonna add the distance between those. Jack was absent when the teacher explained how to describe the location of a point on a coordinate plane. Pretend you are explaining something to Jack. Jack, start out at the origin. Then you're going to do what? Then you need to go where? In order to plot, to plot point J. So you're going to go back to point J and explain that how to plot that point J to J. All right, then you have your homework and it goes exactly with your, what we did in concept development. For your exit ticket, you're going to follow the directions, place hash marks, label, and plot those points. All right, good luck.